Hey guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to get hash value from any kind of data type in Java. So if you're not familiar with what hash function is, in a nutshell a hash function is a one-way function. It is any function that can be used to map data of arbitrary size to data of fixed size. The values returned by a hash function are called hash values, hash codes, hash sums, or simply hashes. One use is a data structure called a hash table, widely used in computer software for rapid data lookup. Hash functions accelerate table or database lookup by detecting duplicated records in a large file. They are also useful in cryptography, a cryptographic hash functions allow one to easily verify that some input data maps to a given hash value but if the input data is unknown it is deliberately difficult to reconstruct it so enough theory talk let's get down to business okay we will create a new java project and we will call it hash functions okay now we will create Java package. We'll call it just hash, and inside it we will create Java class. Then we will call it same as the package hash functions. Let us take this. So the main method would be generated. Okay. Now first thing first we need to import two Java classes so import java dot security dot message digest okay and second import will be from package javax dot xml dot bind dot data type converter okay uh, as you can see in the Oracle Oracle uh, website in Java 8 uh, there are few uh, algorithms that can be used in message digest class for creating hash functions so each one of these functions gives different results and the results uh, differ in uh, characters and the output length so the shortest is the MD2 and the longest is the SHA512 so as you can see there are some explanations here uh, so let us create a comment as a reminder available algorithms are MD2, MD5, SHA1, SHA224, SHA256, SHA384 and SHA512 so after this we can create our method it will be static method that will return string value and we'll call it get hash it will have two parameters first parameter will be byte array of the input data so byte array and we'll call it input bytes and second parameter will be the algorithm itself it's in uh, we write it as a string so string algorithm okay so in this method we'll write string hash value is equal empty string 
Then we'll write try cast block. Exception E. Okay, and then we'll return hash value. So in this try block, first we need to create a message digest object. So message digest message digest is equal to message digest dot get instance. Okay, and we will pass the algorithm as a parameter. Second thing, we need to update this message digest object with the bytes that it needs. So we'll write message digest dot update and we'll put input bytes as a parameter. So now we'll create another byte array that will be digested bytes is equal to message digest and we'll call digest method that returns byte array and now that we have the uh, byte array of digested bytes we can create a string out of it so hash value is equal to data type converter dot print hex binary and we pass the adjusted bytes as a parameter uh, print hex binary returns string so we can call built-in string method to lower case because print hex binary prints uh, return string as an uppercase. Okay, and usually the hash values are represented in a lower case. So now that we have our method to get hash in our main method, we will create string some string is equal to this is some string okay and now if we want to get a hash value from this string some string we will system dot out dot print line and we will just call this get hash and now some string dot get bytes and the algorithm can be any of these let's say sh1 sh1 okay now let's save this and if we run this we get the hash value if we put some other we will get a different value and a longer value so uh, this algorithm gives the shortest output and this algorithm gives the longest output so MD5 is longer than MD2, SHA1 is longer than MD5 and so on uh, in terms of security uh, well SHA224 is considered to be at least in some level well secure but if you want uh, full security you will just use SHA512 so uh, you don't need just you, you can get these uh, hash values from a file of course you don't need just a string so let me delete this okay and I have created these uh, two files first one is uh, some text it's a regular text file 
text document and the other one is a PNG image called Java. So if you want to get the hash value from this file java.png first we need to get the uh, file path okay so in our main method we'll write try catch block okay and now we'll say file image is equal to new file and we will pass this then we need to put double slashes instead of single ones and to put name of the file java.png okay and then we need to fix the import say import file file class Okay, so then we need to get the bytes from this image file. We'll create byte array object, we'll call it image bytes is equal to files dot read all bytes image to par. Okay, and then we need just to call this method system dot print line and we will say get hash image bytes and the algorithm let's say md5 okay save this and if we run this we will get the hash value from this file so you can get a hash value from any kind of uh, data if you can get the byte array out of it so this is all for now uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video